welcome and welcome back to the channel guys real quick and i do mean real quick now this is a different format than my normal videos because i'm actually uh want to jump on board and check something real quick actually answer a couple questions real quick uh i was asked a few questions on the video that uploaded today uh it's still saturday i think yeah the six the day is still the six so one of the questions in there was pertaining to uh torque specs all right and i gave the guy my word that i would get back to him with some answers in the middle of that i got tied up so and it takes a lot to type all of that out so you know smart me i figure i can make a quick video showing exactly uh that information all right so let's get right to it man ain't no sense of wasting time i am headed over to my youtube channel okay here's my channel all right guys uh actually it was this video right here so let me click this see if i can get to this, this question engine? All right, we don't need the video to play. I need to see the question. Which one? Uh, uh, Zo, Zo, seven six five seven. Where will one find the torque settings for the three two on cam and rocker on replacement? Can you post? Now I did, however, answer him. Uh, sure. Give me a sec. Uh, that guys, that was three hours ago. Let me pull that info up. So what I'm gonna do? First of all, guys, here's what I tend to do a lot. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go check on my man Zo. Uh, this name don't sound familiar. Look at this, guys. Uh, here's Zo. Zo's channel, his subscription is open to the public, guys. So this is what I tend to do a lot. All right. Uh, I tend to go and see. Now, I, I know it's none of my business, but I want to see if Joe's actually. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Joe is not. Oh, there I am. Joe is actually subscribed to me. Thank you, Mr. Joe. Thank you. Now we can carry on a conversation, Joe. I appreciate that. Joe is actually subscribed to my channel. Okay. According to his subscription list. Now, guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not a butthole. Okay. You ask me something, you're not subscribed. I'm still going to uh, try to answer the question as best I can. It's just this way. This is a new with engine? me knowing this, I feel a little bit more better about the conversation okay i can carry on a nice conversation so again mr zo i'm saying joe his name is zo 7657 where will one find the torque settings for the three two on a cam and rock arm replacement now guys keep in mind the three two is uh basically the three six baby brother here's what we're gonna do here's what i want to do i want to go over to my source all right let's do this guys let's go to a typical uh minivan let's do uh 1918 so let's do 2018 guys all right now what i want to do engine yeah we're gonna that's the only option in 2018 was the three six let's go we want to look at some torque specs guys because we're going to go over this fairly quick now uh engine three six okay what i want is uh not special tools i want technical specification and i should find torque specs right there all right let's look in there all right guys here we go some good information now guys a lot of these are very important in fact let me say this torque specs to anything is important do we talk everything absolutely not guys so but what i want you to focus on <laughs> one of the procedures is very important and i'm talking about camshaft uh retainers okay uh things like that uh the oil control valve, all of that stuff is very important, crucial. Okay, so guys, you can pull this video up and uh, stroll. I'm going to stroll down. You can see whatever you want to see, but we're going to highlight a few. Okay, we all know about the, uh, okay, that's time and chain tensioners. Those tensioners, those are T30. They should be at 12 newton meter. Newton meter right here, foot pound in the middle. So let's get straight to the goodies. All right, and the goodies are camshaft bearing cap right here, guys. Those are M16 T30 torque bits screws, and they should be torqued to 10 newton meter, right here, 10 newton meter and 84 inch pound. Okay. 10 newton meter and 84 inch pound on the camshaft bearing cap. Okay. I don't know why anybody would be down in the bottom. We hardly ever have. Just in case you are, I'm going to stroll through this so you can take a peek at it. And if you need any information off of here, you can help yourself we're gonna highlight a few while we stroll okay while i'm strolling like look at this even the flex plate the crankshaft bolt is important yes it is guys that is just torque specs to even that now let me stroll down here 
so you guys can get a look at anything you may need okay yes power steering pump heat shield there's even a torque specs for that okay variable valve timing that's the little um solenoids on the front on the valve cover actually is in the front of each cam phasers now why did i not see uh they must gave it a funny name all right if i don't see it in here guys we're gonna get it and what i'm talking about is the oil control valve itself all right uh it doubles as the boat for the uh cam phasers mm. guys we have to go get that okay i'm not seeing that in here and i do not feel comfortable oh right, well, here we go oil control valve cam phasers m18 Wow, 160, what I say? 160 newton meter at 120, uh, 118 foot pound. Okay, so that is the torque specs for the cam phase. And guys, guys ask me this all the time. What is the the size of that boat? God, and I meant to get, I have a socket dedicated to this boat. I forgot to get the size of the socket. If anybody know that, can you please put it in the comment? Because every time I meant, I mean to write that down, I forget. All right, so I I forgot again. Now, like I say, guys, these are the specs for a uh, three six. I hope y'all jot that down. If you didn't, just rewind the video and stroll through this stuff. Okay. Now, what I wanted, what's also important if you're doing valve. Uh, if you're doing rock arms or things like that, let's go to uh, camshaft. I want y'all to see the sequence in which you should be talking these or tightening them down. Um, standard procedure, operation, inspection, installation. Let's look at installation. Let's just pick a random left side here. All right, guys, over here, right here, guys, it's the sequence. Okay, yes, there is a sequence. You don't just start tightening. You know, I typically go start from the center and work my way out. OK, but here's the official sequence that Chrysler or FCA wants you to use. Do this one first, this one second, this one third, this one fourth, this one fifth, this one sixth, seventh, so forth and so on. So that is the sequence, guys. All right. So I hope this information helped. Uh, like I say, that oil control valve, I showed you the torque specs on that. Now, there are more important things that need to be torqued down, but I assume you guys are all doing valve train rocker arms and things like that. Now, okay, let's do this. My man actually asked me about the 3.2. Now, like I say, the 3.2 is basically the baby brother of the 3.6, but to ease your mind, guy, we're going to go, let's do a Jeep uh, Cherokee. No, not a compass. Cherokee wit. Let's do 2018. 3 2. See, that's an option. Like I say, it is the baby brother of the 3 6. But we're going to go look anyway, guys. Service information. Uh, we're going to go on the engine 3.2 liter. We're going to go on the technical specification. We're going to go on the torque specification. And here are the readings for those, guys. Pretty much the same, but just to ease your mind, buddy. In fact, I apologize. He he did ask about the 3-2, okay? But uh, they basically the same, guy. Here's the ease your mind. I will show it. Like I say, go back and watch this video and let it play real slow. So just in case you miss something, you will not, you'll be able to backtrack and look at it, all right? I wanted to cover this because I get asked these questions all the time. So now you have a video I can refer you to in the event uh you can't find it sometimes some things you likely can't find on google or if it's pertaining to a pentastar simply uh you know i don't know about hard so yes i even i have to pull this up and check myself all right guys i hope that help you my friend zo i want to say zo guys that is all i have uh torch specification just in case you're doing uh, you're a DIY guy. Your shop, a lot of shops uh, watch the videos. Thank you. I appreciate it. Guys, like I say, please be subscribed to the channel if you ask me a question. And don't get me wrong. I can't get to every question in this format. Okay, I just happened to be sitting down, uh, getting ready to do my area. And I figured, God, dog it, I forgot Zoe. I forgot to get back with him. So I decided to fire up the camera and produce this video. So Zoe, thank you for watching the videos. Every time you watch a video, Give it a thumbs up. 
even the ones you don't watch, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> all right. And uh, for those that are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, guys. I appreciate it. That's all I have, man. Uh, guys, I'm going to take off Sunday, okay, Super Bowl. All right. Nobody wants to talk about cars on Super Bowl Sunday. So we might resume Thursday. I think I'm going to be at All Park Garage Thursday anyway. So that would be better for you guys. You want to talk about some high performance. I know you guys want to talk about some high performance vehicles. All right. Scat packs, demons, uh, Hellcats, things like that. All right. Thursday, I think. We'll see. Stay tuned, guys. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.